Hello everybody, today I'm back with another video. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to run Half-Life 2 on a potato. Literally a potato. Now, um, <clears throat> I just want to say before I start, um, we're going to use a, a, a config file. But that config file, I'm not the, I didn't create it. So if you want any in-depth details, I'm going to put the link in the description to the original video so you can have everything so I didn't make any of this just to clarify because I'm not that intelligent I can't really do stuff like he does so with that done um, I'm gonna basically walk you through the steps of increasing your frame rate so one obvious thing is turning down the settings um, I'm gonna put it at, I'm gonna let it stay at 720p, and, uh, if, for the best result, you wanna put it at 4x3 and the 640x480, that's the best thing, but I'm not gonna do that, otherwise it's gonna, everything's not, everything's not gonna work, nothing's gonna work. So, of course, we're gonna lower down the settings. Uh, this is my the uh, this is my graphic settings right now, and you want to put everything to low. Um, e everything when I say say everything, it's everything. The only thing you don't want to touch is the multi-core rendering, and the field of view because that doesn't change a thing. Um, multi-core rendering it basically enables the cores on your computer so and it, it enables the game to use more than one core or something like that so you, it uses every core of your CPU to the game so you want to leave it that a uh, vertical vertical sync you can put it on if you want but what it does it basically syncs your frame rate with your uh, monitors refresh rate technically every, every well the most common refresh rate is 60 Hertz, so basically 60 FPS. Some but may some might be higher or lower, but most of them are 60 Hertz. So if you have any screen tearing, put it on, otherwise you don't need to. Um, other than that, you want to click apply. And good. Okay. So I'm just gonna load um, this this stage, the water thingy stage. And uh, for some, I'm just gonna put the frame rate counter. Lower the sound. Okay. So now you have the frame rate up top, right at the top right. So let's get out. So basically having 70-ish FPS, 70 to 100 and something. So that's that's actually quite good. But if you're an FPS horror like I am, you want more. Um, now I am running this on um, an i5 2520M. It's a 2.5 gigahertz dual core, hyper-threaded CPU. It's a laptop CPU because of the M, um, with four gigs of RAM and uh, the integrated graphics, the Intel HD 3000. Now this is in no way a potato. It's a, it's an old. It's old, I know, but it's not a potato. But you can run this on a potato, because why not? So, we have 70-ish FPS. This is while recording. I have the benchmark right... I'll basically show it after, but um... There, that's 70. So... What you want to do is... I can't really do it now. So, um, I'm going to be back in the desktop to 
show you guys how to do it. So you'll see right now. So here it is. Um, first of all, I'm going to put this file. I'm going to put it down the link to this file right here. And uh, you basically want to download it. I'm just going to show it to you guys. It's basically commands that are for these like for example our shadows right here to zero for example dynamic light uh, eye movement it disables a lot of stuff now the only thing the only thing that you have to um, do after this in game is put the cheats on it might be on already on but just be sure enable the console and um, I'm gonna show you guys too how to do that so uh, you want to go to your game directory, this computer, local disk, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Half-Life 2, HL2, CFG. Now you're going to have a lot of config files for, for here. So you want what you want to do is, where is it? Right here. You want to take this file right here, put it in here, and you can close it, and that's it. Now you can do more things. You can do other things too, like put the game in Direct X Seven or Eight. No, Direct X Seven. Or you can basically lower the Direct X version that you're running it, and it's gonna have you're gonna have a higher FPS. For example. Um, Right here, set launch options. Um, you can put no vid if you want. That's just rem removes the, the um, stupid valve intro thingy. And you want to put console in the right here. You want to put console in the launch options. That's going to open the console when the game starts. So, it's okay, close. And, um, will be back so back in game um, you have the console open right here and um, what you want to do is uh, type SV cheats one that enables the cheats for the game with the levels so after that you won't be able you're gonna have to lower down the settings because for some reason it disables it puts them back where, where they were uh, okay put that okay so now the thing that you'll need to listen you have to listen every well let's let me show it to you so you have to type exec space auto exec see right here when you press enter and you're just going to see the background is has changed quite a lot. So, we're going to load the same map. The map, you're going to see that it's freaky. So, um, basically this thing, it removes the uh, skybox. It removes the water. So, can't see water. But it is there. Uh, lowers down basically everything so um before we did this uh we had i had 70 to 100 fps now i get 100 120 ish to 180 now once again this is on integrated graphics so it is really nice to see a high fps so you basically you can basically run this on like the guy uses in the video uses the uh, Intel Atom with the integrated graphics and two gigs of RAM so uh, you can basically run that on a potato well any any PC for it for the matter of fact so um, I hope you guys found this video interesting I hope you don't mind that I have troubles with words. Um, 
If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll gladly answer them. Um, leave a like down below. It motivates me to make more videos. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Because there's definitely going to be more of this. Of these type of videos. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.